Hey, you. Yeah, you. Talk. You want to get more FPS? Well, you came to the right person. I got you. Alright, so we're in the game Bed Wars, and the amount of FPS I'm getting right now is 6. And this might work if you have like a low end PC, like an office computer that can get around like 60 at full graphics with Windows 11 or maybe 10, depends. But like, if you have like, if you have like me, if you like me, I have a gaming PC, so stuff wouldn't really matter. But some some having 60 FPS is ch kind of choppy. So I I'm gonna help you out. All right. So after you get your um browser open, you're gonna click on this and search up FPS locker or unlocker. All right. I'll put I'll put the link in the description as well. So, so you want to click on this and you want to click the latest one. It's the latest one. The uh, full point V point four forty four point four. There. See, it says latest. So. I don't I don't know what to do for this, but if your computer is a 40 64 zip or some of these, because I don't there was a 36, but I don't see anymore. But mine's a 46, so I'll download, I'm already gonna download it, but I already have mine downloaded, so then I'm gonna go to your files, open this up, I'm gonna go to downloads, and right here, open this, but I already have mine, so I'm gonna open this up, click this again. And this should pop up. Now, if I go to the game again, I press Shift F5. I'm getting around 100 and 200 because this game has a lot of enemies and texture. I press F1. I'm getting that much. So if I go all the way here, mine's at full graphics. You press ESC, ESC. You want to go to settings and go all the way down to graphics bar. The graphics bar. If mine's already at full graphics, mine's terrible. But if you have a low end PC, I recommend going to two. I mean, if you're playing Bed Wars, you're playing want to go to three. But if you want to play Arsenal, I think you have two or one. And for graphics mode, you want to keep this at manual. You don't want to be automatic. I mean, unless if you want it, if you want to have something like this, but you want to have the best amount of frames. I'm getting around 400. God, that's, that's pretty good. All right. Next step. Alright, so after this, you want to be in your desktop and press the Windows key and search up notifications. Notifications. See, you want to click on this one right here. And you want the, all the notifications to be off. So, well, these are on, but I want them to be off. So then after you have all these off, you should, this shouldn't be annoying anymore. So you want to exit that out. Alright, so if you have a graphics card in, built into your PC, you want to press right click. And if you have a Windows 11, you can press on Show More Options. And you have to press it on NVIDIA Control Panel. Wait for this thing to pop up. Alright, so here's this you can change the resolution. So if I press 1680 by 1050 and press Apply, my screen should turn black. Alright, then I click on Yes. This, this should, um, give you a good amount of FPS, but if you don't want that, you can go to, um, native, and click on that, and then pr press yes. Now you want to go to your desktop, and go on your, uh, uh, this thing, and click on this. So, so you should have your GeForce experience. And remember, this is, um, only if you have a graphics card built on your PC. And you want to check your um drivers, um, is up to date. Mine is. See, mine is up to date. After you exit that out, you want to go into your uh, Windows and search adjust adjust the performance and with this. You want to click on this. You want to go um adjust the best performance. I already have mine like this, so I'm gonna pick that as far. Well. But you want to click apply and okay. Alright, so after you exit out, you're going to go to the startup, startup apps right here. Click on open. Whatever. And then you want to turn all of this off. So turn all of these off. Off, off, and off. Alright, so if, if you're going to get notifications when you're in game, um, 
that's pretty much it. So after that, you want to exit out. All right, so after you exit that out, you want to go to Windows Bar and search up Xbox, Xbox Game Bar. You want to go enable Xbox Game Bar. After that, you want to says this and says it's on. You want to turn that off. And this game will make it will make so much changes. Oh my God! All right, after this, you want to go to a game, any game. Press on play. All right, then you wanna see see all the graph. It may look bad when you have like one graphics bar, one on your graphics bar. But then you wanna press sh Shift F5. Right here. So I'm getting around 300. So if I go to an actual game, let's see. All right, so now we're in game, and I'll press Shift F5 again. I'm getting around 246. Like. 80 and then if I go to full graphics see I'm getting around 250 so it depends this some of the settings depends if you have like a good PC like for a graphics bar um all right so I hope you guys enjoyed this video it did take me a really long time to edit so it would mean a lot if you like and subscribe and share this to your friends peace